The Link Show is just about to start. If you want to be a part of The Link Show, head over to linkkids.com.au forward slash live. Today on The Link Show, we're starting a brand new series celebrating Christmas. Let's go. And we've got a brand new challenge for you called Pick the Present. We're going to be learning all about the Christmas story. All that and more. Are you ready? Let's, Let's get linked. linked. <laughs> Welcome back. We love celebrating Christmas here on the Link Absolutely. Show. And you know what, Cece? My favorite things about Christmas are actually the lights. I love to go look oh, at the lights. Me too. You know the houses at night, and you walk yes. around, and you see like candy canes in the in the grass. You got and the Christmas carols Christmas, going. Oh, Christmas carols! I love Christmas carols. I'm playing it right now. Do in you my know car. what I love? What do you love? I love Christmas crackers. Oh yes! You ready? Christmas. Yes. We're gonna do one each. No, we gotta. Oh, ready? Okay. Ready? One, two, two three. I win! Oh, here we go. What in the oh. world is... Ah. Ooh, we got crowns. I like the presents, but I don't like this present. I don't know what my present is. Um, what? You got a crown? I yeah, didn't get a crown. Yeah, make sure. Oh, I did get a crown. I did get a crown. My bad. Here we my go. matches my outfit perfectly. Get here it. Here we go. Oh, and Gosh. I also got a joke. All right, you go. You want to hear my joke? Yeah. All right, hear my joke. What do you call a crate of ducks? Hmm. A, a quack. Now, a box of quackers. Oh, that was close. All right, you ready for mine? Ruined the joke. Sorry. <laughs> Where do snowmen go to dance? The snowball. <sighs> yeah, All I can right. ruin jokes too. All right, guys, we want to hear which joke you thought was funniest. Miguel's or mine. Head over to the website and vote. And on Wednesday, Buck is going to be making a new episode called The Link Crew and You, and he'll be reading your shout outs as well as seeing which joke you guys thought was the best. But right now, we're going to head over and watch Preach Part 1. Okay, so we're starting our Christmas series. Over the next six weeks, we're gonna be taking a look at the Christmas story from the beginning to the end. And then when we eventually get to Christmas weekend, we're gonna be celebrating Jesus fully. It's gonna be an amazing six weeks, so we're pumped to take you on the journey. But today, we're gonna to rewind all the way to the start of the story. But before we get there, I have a question for you. In your life, there's different people that we need to listen to. When you're at school, who are the people that we should be listening to? I'll give you a few seconds. Easy, it's your teachers. What about when you're at home, who should you be listening to? That's right, your parents or your grandparents. What about if you are at a sporting event? So you're in a sporting team, who is the person that you should be listening to? That's right, it's the coach. Because in your life, those are the people that wanna help you to reach your potential. They wanna help you to get to where you could eventually get to. But have you ever seen someone in a sporting team who instead of playing the team game, they're working as a group, instead they don't listen to the coach and they try and do their own thing and it always ends badly maybe they'll score a point or two but the team starts to fall apart because instead of listening to the good instruction the good plan they try and play their own plan did you know that that's exactly the same for our lives every single day there's different people trying to tell us what we should do and some of those people are trying to help us they're trying to give us a good plan like our teachers and our parents but then there's people who are trying to get you to play to a bad plan something that maybe is selfish or self-serving so instead of being kind it's being greedy or being mean and the reason we're talking about that is because mary who becomes the mother of Jesus in today's story, right at the beginning, the Bible says that she was someone who lived according to God's plan. You see, out of all the different plans we could listen to, the best plan that we can follow is God's plan for our lives because he has a good plan for you and for me. And so a little later on, we're gonna start the Christmas story where we look at Mary who is following God's plan and because of that, something amazing happens. But before we get there, I'd love you to take a moment and think about the different people that are trying to tell you what to do and which of those are you listening to? Are you listening to good friends and good teachers that are trying to help you live a good plan? Or are you listening to people that are maybe trying to convince you to do the wrong thing? Because the first step in choosing the right plan is realizing what plans people are trying to tell you to follow. And so a little later on, we'll take a look and see what Mary chose as well, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. 
Welcome back. We have a new game today. I'm very excited. It's called Pick the Perfect Present. And now producers it. are actually going to give us a scenario. And basically, we got to pick the perfect present. Now, Amazing. you guys can play along in your classrooms, at home, at church, wherever you are right now, and just pick the perfect present. I love it. But let's go. Boris the Seal is about to start working at SeaWorld in their new Christmas Seal show. He is very nervous to meet his co-stars and wants to make a good impression. What present should he get them? I love it. I know what I'm doing already. Um. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm being funny. Oh, I've, I stuffed it up. That's okay. All right. Oh, do you have to draw it? Well, I did. Oh, okay. Go for it. What are you getting? What are you getting, Boris? Swimming suits and snorkels. So they can snorkel with the fish. But he's a seal. He doesn't need to snorkel. Wait, is Boris a seal or is he like <laughs> the person Boris the training seal. the seal? Oh, no, I stand by what I said. Swimming suits and a snorkel. So he looks like he's part of the team. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm going on that teamwork. Fish ties. So it's a treat. But it's and a it seal. makes him look professional. I've All never right. seen a seal wear a Merry Fishmas down the bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we just end the episode right now? <laughs> All right, guys, you need to let us know which present do you think works better? Is it my Merry Fishmas tie or presents for a human and not Swimming a seal? Swimming suits for a seal. If you can wear a tie, you can wear a suit. All right, guys, we're going to keep talking about this, but if you guys have some better ideas, send them in and Buckle will read them out on Wednesday. But right now, how about you head over and watch today's animated Bible story? This is Mary, the same Mary that would go on to become the mother of Jesus. But right now, she's not married and doesn't have any children because she's following God's law. She's engaged, however, to a man named Joseph. One day, an angel appeared to Mary and said, God has chosen you. He is with you. But Mary was confused at what the angel was saying and became afraid. And so the angel said, Mary, don't be afraid. God has an amazing plan for your life. You will have a son and you will call him Jesus. He will be the son of God and he will rule as king forever. Mary asked, how is this possible? I'm not married yet. The angel said, the Holy Spirit will make you pregnant so that the boy will be holy. He will be called the son of God. Remember, nothing is impossible with God. Before the wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant and he thought that she had done something wrong. But Joseph was a man of God. And so he decided that he would break off the engagement quietly. Joseph didn't want other people thinking bad of Mary. But then one day, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, it's okay for you to take Mary as your wife. She has done nothing wrong. In fact, the child she carries is from God. His name will be Jesus and he will save his people from their sins. And so when Joseph woke up, he decided to put his trust in God. Mary and Joseph got married. The thing I love about this story is we have Mary. She becomes the mother of Jesus. It's like the greatest amazing thing ever. She's known throughout the entire world. There are hundreds of millions of people now that know who Mary is. And it all started with her choosing God's plan for her life. And so she's in her room and this angel appears. Can you imagine being at home and an angel appearing in the room with you? I know I would be a little bit scared and I love the angel says, Mary, don't be afraid. God has seen that you're following God's plan and he is so pleased with you. And so I come with good news. You see, when we follow God's plan for our lives, not only is it the best thing for us, but it means that we can actually reach the amazing things that God has planned for our future. You see, God loves everybody. Whether you do the right thing or the wrong thing, God loves you. That will never change. But the thing that does change is what plan we follow. And when we follow God's plan, that's when we can reach the good things that God has 
for our future. But if instead we try to live our own plan, that's when we get in trouble and that's when things can fall apart. And I love in the Bible, God says, I know the plans I have for you. They are good plans. They are plans that will bring joy and happiness. They're good. And so we have to make a choice. Will we follow God's plan for our lives or are we going to try and do our own thing? I know for me, I'm going to try and do what Mary did. I'm going to try and follow God's plan for my life because I know the best future for me is always found in God's plan. I love today that we learned that God has a plan for Mary's life and he has a plan for us too. Mm -hmm. And the game was like, it was all right, it was all right. Do you know what might help you next week, Miguel? What? Listen to the question. Nah, 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 that's, that's all right. <laughs> but you know what? I'm Miguel. I'm Cece. And we'll see you next time on The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Bye. See you, everyone.